Last week on Coast Life, we did some random boat work, put some sails on. And this week we're getting some engine work done, setting up the autopilot, and taking her for a spin. Originally we bought this dinghy for like 150 bucks. Uh, it came with oars and everything. We bought it to beat it, and we chained it to the rocks all summer. I painted it black so it would blend in with the rocks, and um, we just we smashed it up. We we put a bunch of holes in it. There was already some holes from the previous owner, and uh, but you know we got our money's worth out of it for last year. We bought it so that if someone stole it, we weren't going to cry over it because we were just leaving it out. Okay, so I'm all done. I went through four of these, which was way too many. Dumb. I don't think I'd do it again this way, but it's done and uh, still looks like crap, so nobody will steal it. That's $80 of Plasti Dip. Each one of these cans is about $20 Canadian. I went through four of them. It's just terrible. I thought I might only go through two. Alright, so right now I'm working on the engine. Um, I'm going to uh, do some modifications because uh, I was researching the Hunter forums and um, all the newer Yanmars actually have this coming out over here. So I'm going to move this to this fitting here. I'm going to move this to this here. Oh. Alright, there's the thermostat. It is closed currently. Okay, so I uh, decided I'd just go full out. It's engine day, right? So I took off the cover for the heat exchanger. And uh, it's looking a little, uh, a little gunky. See what I found here? That is a little piece of uh, impeller from the raw water pump that's down here. So I'm glad I took it apart to find this. So um, I'm going to investigate some more. This is where the salt water goes through. So if that goes all the way through, uh, and all the way through is about this long, then I'm pretty good. Um, so one is good. Two, just make sure there's no plastic bits stuck in there. That one's good. And it'll scrape them a little bit, clean them a little bit, but as long as it's going through, we got water flow. And that's the main important thing here. So there's nothing stuck in there. This thing goes through all the way. I put a little twist in it around the screwdriver. That's how I did that. Twisted that around. And I drive it through. So this has good water flow, no worries. I need a new seal though. This one broke. It's very ancient deteriorated so I'll need a new seal and uh, yeah okay so today I'm uh, got the companionway closed because it's uh, raining out so I'm just working on the motor today uh, I went and got some parts Needed a new seal. For this, I got a new rad cap because this one looks disgusting. And uh, I tested the thermostat in at home in the in a pot. That looked good. And I'm gonna make sure that there's no uh, pieces missing off this. Any impellers? All of the impellers are there, which good. Which is good. Yeah, engine stuff's almost done. I'm going to change the oil. Uh, once I get it running again, I'll warm it up, change the oil, and put some new stuff in, and a new filter. So the engine should be pretty good to go, he thinks. Alright, so today I'm installing a Raymarine wheel tiller pilot, autopilot. Got them on sale at the Binnacle. Um, we thought it'd be nice. Um, Everybody on the vlogs has them, and you can see the value when, uh, say, if Katie or I have a problem with something up front of the boat, we can set the autopilot and go help each other, as opposed to yelling from the tiller or the uh, wheel silliness. 
Oh yes, when we, we have guests, we'll put the gray we one on. <laughs> Okie dokie, so we got the autopilot installed, I think. Everything's run, we've got the head unit installed. Oh, it's actually on, so that's cool. Um, there's the my compass unit there. And this is the uh, main brain, I guess. We also have the barbecue. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Your face looks bewildered. I'm bewildered. Why are you bewildered? I'm not. Oh. I'm okay. Just gonna clean out the bilges, including the washroom one, because I figure if if we do put the sails up, then we I don't want the especially the bathroom water to heal over into everywhere. Okay. So you want the bucket? Yeah. Water out of the, out of the village. Uh. So today we're going to go on a little cruise um, just to make sure everything works. We're just going to go for a little potter on the harbor. There's some fog out there, so we probably won't be going out. Don't know that we'll be raising the sails. Probably not. Mostly we just want to set up our new autopilot. And I got this from Amazon. It's a, a bike mount clip for your phone. This is for a bicycle? It was for a bicycle, yeah. yeah. I figure it should not rust too much because it's for bicycles, for that, but yeah. maybe not. Either way, it's got nice little secure things and we can see our charts. Do We're already fancy in our old boat. Aren't we? We've learned from our previous sailings and that we're going to put stuff away before we go out. Good thinking, Katie. <laughs> yeah, like I don't really want... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of tools going on here. So we decided to make a game plan for docking instead of just coming in freestyle like we've done in the past. Not that it worked out that great for us. First time on docking. All right. Yeah. Uh, Steering is weird. I need a fender off thing. Yeah, kind of do. Uh, oh, I think we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, this uh, steering it like a car thing is kind of awkward. Yeah. Yeah, it's confusing. I'm so. My brain says opposite on boats. Opposite on boats. I know. So, I know obviously people uh, learn to drive like dinghies and stuff and boats. So, you just think opposite on tiller. But so far, my boating career has been opposite on boats. Yeah. So we want to go this way. I've never used way. anything but a tiller. This way, this way. It's funny. Hey, Peter. I said there's no water rushing in the boat down there, is there? No. No. <laughs> Why? Well, I would tell you if there was. Of course, yeah. No, I don't know. It's the first time we moved the boat, so we're, uh... Those are big... Areas. Yeah, the big fishing boats, there. Bouncy. Sounds a little... You don't like the sound of it? Sounds a little clunky. Okay, yeah. I don't know. Just need to check this. Turn it around. I feel like we're gonna go back because I don't like the feeling of it. Okay. The 
because the motor's got a funny vibration and it's uh okay i just don't know what it is no i know so we're gonna take our time back Yeah, since we've been using the propeller for a while, it's like there's a lot of banging around. So I don't like it. I'm gonna turn it back down again. We're just gonna. Since so with the propeller on, that you don't like the noise. No, yeah, it could be bad. <sighs> Yeah, we're just going to take it easy on the way in. Alright, stressful. Fucking stressful. Okay, so the wind's pushing us this way. Oh, we don't have any fenders down. That's okay. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Sorry, you can just jump off, yeah. Try too with Katie off the boat. Forgot where the shifter was, kind of. Oh yeah, I can put it in neutral. Just, just hook that first one on. Yeah. You're good. Oh, the, which way am I going here? I'm, I keep forgetting which way to... Uh, we could. So thankfully Patty the Harbor Master came down to give us a hand with our dock lines. After talking about it, we came to the conclusion that uh, we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> um, I was coming in too fast. And Katie put the spring line on as well as the bow line, which kind of pulled the boat over in an unusual fashion. And me being confused with the steering wheel as opposed to a tiller, couldn't really recover from that. <laughs> but no harm, no foul, and we're no worse for the wear. Well, docking was a fiasco as normal. Yeah, a lot worse if there was a boat over there. It's like, yeah, it's hooked on and it's still going. I'm still getting used to the steering and I couldn't figure oh, out. I know. How to get the rudder in the way I wanted. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> but we're back, everything's okay ish. We don't know what's wrong with the boat, but we think it might be the cutlass bearing. Only makes a sound in drive. Rear, it sounds okay. drive it doesn't sound good at all so yeah. I don't know we'll see I guess the motor itself is fine but it's something to do with the sh prop shaft 
and that really only means probably one thing. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. You know the drill. Like, share, comment. Links are in the description below. Hope you enjoyed our embarrassing failures.